Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the series, How to Use Pigments. This is video six, and today we're going to be talking about phase modulation here in the wavetable section, this little second box here. And like we talked about before with frequency modulation, we have something modulating the frequency, but in this case, it's going to be something modulating the phase. So again, for another demonstration, I brought in citrus. So when we, when we think of phase, it's going to be basically like a circle in that sense that it has 360 degrees, which is going to be this bottom slider here. So if we look at this top wave right here, the sine wave, we can see it starts and it goes up and it goes down and then it goes back and then it resets to its very initial phase. At the beginning, it'll reset. It'll keep playing over and over and over. Depending on where the initial phase start is, the waveform can look a little different. So this bottom bar here is basically telling where is the phase whenever we press a key. So as we change this, we can see that the waveform is kind of moving back and forth, right? And as I bring it down, it kind of goes back. And if I bring it up, it goes the other way and so on and so forth. So this is us manually moving the phase of a waveform. So this is, if you think of it this way, this is my hand modulating this phase. So hand phase modulation, if you will. So that's kind of the concept behind what's going to be going on here. So back inside here in pigments, we have a couple different options. So phase modulation, if we just want to listen to it, see what it sounds like, it's going to sound something like this. Now what's modulating this phase is going to be in this modulator section, just like how it was modulating the frequency. But in this sense, it's modulating, modulating the phase of our wavetable, so our basic sine wave. So if we turn this down, we still see our sine wave here. That's basically the concept in a nutshell, but what we have here is the sync retrigger. We have a couple different options, and this is telling us what do we want to happen or how do we want this phase to be reset. So in this first example here, it's going to be the key. So whatever key we press is going to reset the phase. So every time we hit a new key, the phase of our uh, waveform here is going to be reset. But if we go to this mod osc right here, mod oscillator, that means that once this modulator has finished its cycle and the phase is reset, then it's going to reset the phase of this one as well, resulting in a different tonality. So if we go to this one, then we go to mod osc, it's going to have a different tonality. Next up, we're going to have self, and this is basically going to be determined by the coarse and fine tuning. So now it's telling us that this tuning here is going to be deciding when to reset the phase of our basic sine wave, which we have right here. And the very last one is random, just how you guessed it. It's going to be a random phase retrigger upon every different note that we press. Very similar to key. So the main concept here to really drill into, into your heads with phase modulation is that this modulator, when it goes up in amplitude, that change is what's going to be changing the phase of what we're actually hearing. So that modulator is literally modulating, moving the phase of this waveform and moving it back and forth and back and forth, giving us that type of tonality that we're hearing, resulting in different harmonic content and so on and so forth. <laughs> But at the end of the day, with all the technical jargon aside, you really have to use your ears and see what you actually like, because you can understand this concept all day, but if it doesn't sound good, it doesn't sound good. So that's kind of the takeaway, I guess, of this video. And right there, it's very interesting to note, if you were still had your headphones on, once we change this pitch here, we can almost visually hear or see the waveform being reset. We hear that rhythmic pulse. As we go up in semitones, it's going to be a faster waveform, which is going to be a faster reset, which is going to be a faster pulse that we eventually hear. So hopefully that kind of makes somewhat of, of sense in your brain. And that's pretty much it for the phase modulation. Definitely at the end of the day, use your ears, but kind of play around with the different, different options because that's, I guess that's why they're there. So thank you for watching. In the next video, we're going to talk about phase distortion, kind of another similar concept, but yeah, we'll leave that for the next video and thank you for watching.